If you can cast your minds back a couple of days, we did a video regarding Jamie Markey and a tweet she sent out which referred to kids going back to school and certain things happening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since that, it's kind of blown up. You've got people on I Stand With V who are going against her for it. You've even got non-anime people talking about that tweet because it is one of the most outlandishly stupid tweets that has gone out recently. You've got people on news sites, you've got other YouTubers covering it, the ones who aren't even involved in the whole VM situation. But again, KV are defending this woman because at the end of the day, this woman made a joke about kids passing. That's something you don't do, you know? If you said it to your friends, your friends would be like, what is wrong with you? Why would you say that? That's not exactly great. That sort of thing. But you got people on her side who are defending her. And they keep saying, you're taking it out of context. You're taking it out of context. Okay. If the President of the United States or the Prime Minister of the UK said something like that, he would be, or they would be, literally torn a new bumhole. If you had some actor, doesn't matter who it is, Brad Pitt or whatever, if they said it, they would literally lose their careers. But these people, they just want to defend Jamie Markey for some unknown reason because, again, these simps, which is what they are because they are white knighting her so bad, they have their tongue so far up them that they're licking their tonsils. That's exactly what's going on. But what we're going to take a look at is something brilliant. So it's coming from Jeff. Ha 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 ha. She is really losing this over being called out over a stupid bad take. Over 9,000 likes. She really snapped at one guy. Her white knighting sims are trying to damage control. So glad people are beginning to figure out what trash these VAs are. The original tweet is this one here. Japanese VAs versus English VAs. So obviously we've got the Japanese one on the side. You key to read and record children's books for those in quarantine. Find out more. Great use, great publicity, great everything for the Japanese voice acting community. Because they're like, yeah, we're going to go out there and we're going to do this for them. Then you got Jamie Markey on the side. They need the kids back in school so this can happen so they can sell more of these. Yes, that is exactly it. And when you think of it now, these are the tweets that uh, have come out. So you got the person who actually posted that, one who had the 9,000, is that one there? You know, so he's gone, oh... Look at how angry you are. Then you've got uh, Jimmy Markey replying, it took you 13 hours to come up with that. And so he was probably sleeping, because unlike you, he has a life. But then she's like, for 13 hours? Doesn't sound like much of a life to me, but way to white knight, he's not going to do you, simp. And then Patrick went back with, didn't know you could simp for dudes. This other guy who's defended Jamie Markey for some of the other bad takes. You just did. And Patrick went back with, says the simp. Which is, this Ian guy, he is literally, he's white knighted Jamie as bad as BT. But then, you know, she just went back with a few other things. I mean, you're literally here virtue signalling like a good little beta person to win brownie points for someone who will never do you. You can't even come up with a name that you haven't already been called. Do better or stop playing. Jamie Markey is... To me, she's the type of person who is so bored, she will do anything to hurt anyone just to make herself feel better. She doesn't like it because people have noticed that tweet, which she thought wouldn't get the traction that it did. When you've got people like the quartering, and you've got like, you know, other ones, geeks and everything else, you know, when you've got accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers, and they're seeing these and they're making videos about them. Like, come on, what's going on? You don't do this. She's like, oh, crap. It's actually gone there now and people are actually seeing that tweet. And people are seeing me for what I really am. But then again, no, when you she's trying to come back, I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever, she's this, she's that. And then you've got BT, you've got that guy there, and Ian, and all these other ones who are trying to do damage control for someone they've never met. You know, so I want to just say something about that. They're going on at us saying, oh, you've never met VM, you don't do this, you don't know anyone, you're doing that, you're looking after him, you're defending him. 
you've got people like BT who are defending people who wish ill on kids. And against, you know, against VM, all you have is he said, she said. Literally, no one knows any evidence because no one can see any evidence because one person said this, but then someone else came out and said, well, no, that's not exactly how it went. It went like this. It's the old game of what it used to be called Chinese whispers. You tell one friend something, then it just escalates, you know, goes bigger, 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 bigger. Well, you know how these things start. One guy tells another guy something, and then he tells two friends, and they tell two friends, and they tell their friends, and so on, and so on, and so on. That's exactly what these type of things are. But then, when you look at Jamie Mark, you said, oh, he done this, yeah, he done that, and I can't remember what he said. But then, in certain things, he, you know, supposedly, he spewed something bad or whatever into her ear. And if it was that bad, she would have remembered. Because she said it, it went back years. But she remembers him pulling her hair, supposedly. But she can't remember what he said in that moment. So literally, it's... The way that she's doing it, she could be trying to tell the truth, but she can't remember exactly how it went. Hence the name Chinese Whispers, of when it grows into something bigger than what it is. And... The way she has said this tweet about kids need to go back to school and everything else, and then you've got people like BT, this Ian guy, and a lot of other people defending her. But it's kind of funny because you haven't seen people who are more prominent in the KV movement as come out to defend her. None of them have. You've got a handful of them, which are the ones who are still going on daily. So day by day, they're literally spewing absolute rubbish about VM, I stand with V, or whatever, and then they're saying, all you do is this, which is kind of funny, because when you've got someone like BT, who keeps saying every single day now, and this guy does quite a few tweets a day, nearly every single one is about either defending Jamie Markey, or going on and saying stupid stuff about VM, or people who are defending VM. And you, you, I just look at them, and I just laugh, because it's like, dude... You are the biggest hypocrite going. You are saying all this goes on, but you're doing exactly the same. It's kind of sad when that happens because, again, during this whole quarantine lockdown thing that's happening mostly worldwide, a lot of people are doing other things. They got more important things to do. And then when you see people like BT and everyone else saying, oh, look what this person's saying, look what that person's saying. They're giving their opinion on a social media platform which has terms of service which states anyone can put down there basically what they want except these sort of things. And then, when they actually give their opinion, you screenshot their opinion and then you start having a go with them. Which again, can only be described as you're having a go at someone for having an opinion. Which again shows that you don't want that person to have free speech. You want that person to think how you're thinking. Exactly how Jamie Markey is, which is what BT, Ian, and all these other people who are simping for her and white knighting for Jamie. Jamie wants all these people, because she knows exactly what these people are doing. She's like, I can say anything stupid on this platform, and these little boys and these little idiots will defend me. That's exactly what she's doing. She knows that you're going to do it. But, again, that's how you people do it. And you can get on with it. You can do what you want. But just remember, they're not going to help you if anything goes bad. If anything happens with you, say the police get called. God forbid it doesn't. Because if anything comes to that side of things, then it's just stupid. Because that's not what it's meant to be doing. But if anything happens to you regarding these situations anything happens, they're not going to stand up for you. Marky, Rial, any of them, they're not going to stand up for you because they don't care. They do not care about you. Jimmy Markey even said that in a tweet she sent. She goes, I don't really care what's going on. I've just been tagged in this and I don't care. That's exactly what the tweet meant when she sent it to people because you had quite a few people. you got someone at the moment as well on KV who is going around saying quite a lot of stupid stuff, saying, 
we should do this, we should do that. We should call the police on him, even though there's nothing, I'm still trying to think of stuff. People will know what the uh, texts and tweets I'm on about. When that person's there, and it's like, wow, you're really going that way, are you? Okay, fair enough, you want to go that way, you go that way, you do you. You know, you can do what you want, you can say what you want, but if it gets you in trouble, then that's your fault. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.